Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of Who's Your Daddy? If you didn't see part one, I'll have a link to it in the description below. But we're going to be starting off right where we left off at part one. All right guys, so to get things started off with the cause, I come right here to the middle of this wall. So it should be three blocks in from both sides. Break these two blocks and we're going to make a three by three spacing of acacia planks here. So just come in one and then make a three by three spacing. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's our three by three and fill it all in with acacia wood. Next, up, we're going to take out our light blue stained clay and come up three blocks blocks with it so one two three like that and do that on both sides come up three with it just like that then we're going to take out our bookshelves and place bookshelves right here one two three one two three and we're also going to place one here in the middle then we're going to dig it down a block right here and place more bookshelves right here and more bookshelves right here and then change this block right here to acacia planks next what we're going to do is take out our cauldrons and place a cauldron right here and a cauldron right here and then we're going to break out these two blocks as well. And this is where our door is going to be going. So we're going to take out our dark oak wood door and then face backwards off this block and place in a dark oak wood door right here. And then what I also like to do is just place in one more bookshelf like that. So that's going to be our entire closet area. Next up, we're going to take out some quartz slabs, place three quartz slabs right here. Then we're going to come right above it and we're going to place in two sea lanterns, one here, one here. And then we're going to fill in the rest with slabs like that. So now if I come over here to the front door and I walk in, here is the entire closet area and if you want to you can also place in another sea lantern here it actually looks a little better with an extra sea lantern right here as well i'm not gonna be able to reach it so i'm gonna have to come back out here and place it like that so that's going to be our entire closet done and now what we have to do is hook our closet up to our garage so we're gonna open this up and we're just gonna bring this all the way down until we reach our garage right here and we're gonna do pretty much the exact same thing actually i think i went two one two yeah i definitely went one too far here so let me go ahead and place this back in and then our door is going to go right here so first up we're going to change this entire floor to dark oak wood planks so take out your dark oak wood planks and change the entire floor right here to dark oak wood planks coming all the way down to our garage area then we're going to change out these two blocks right here to white stained clay so we no longer need these take out your white stained clay and place two white stained clay blocks here place in your dark oak wood door backwards take out your white stained clay and we're going to place our first white stained clay block here and just bring it down this entire area until we reach right over to here so this is going to be our little crawl space into our garage area so as you can see i could jump up here close the door and then i could come out here and come all the way to this side and close the door as well next up we're going to take out our light blue stained clay and we're just going to break out these blocks right here and change them all out to light blue stained clay like that and we're going to do that on this side as well placing your light blue stained clay here and here break out all of these blocks now it's way too dark in here so what i like to do is i like to take out some sea lanterns and place the sea lantern one block in right here and one block in right here and there's your crawl space completely done if i close both doors boom boom we can go from the closet to the garage garage to closet so on and so forth and then we can go ahead and place in our dark oak wood door here and we are completely done with that part of the build and there you guys have it you completed the whole entire bottom floor excluding parts of the living room but we have completed the entire bottom floor so we have the closet we have the living room we have this closet we have the kitchen we have the bathroom we have the laundry room and of course we also have our garage now it's time to work our way up to the second floor of the house and then we got to cap off this living room and you will be completely done so let's go ahead and work on the baby's room first all right guys so to get things started off on the baby's room we're gonna come in three blocks from here so one two three break out these two blocks and we're gonna be using birch planks here place a birch plank here and then your door right here like that and then we're gonna come to the inside right here and now we're gonna make a seven by seven spacing of birch planks starting from here so one two three four five six seven one counting this one one two three four five six seven and then wrap it all the way back to this wall and that should be an exact seven by seven spacing so as you can see one two three four five six seven one two three four five six and number seven so one two three four five six seven and just fill in the entire area with birch planks until we reach all the way towards the end next up we're going to take out our light blue stained carpet once again and bring that up four blocks going around this entire area. Now let's go ahead and get started up on these props. So we're gonna come over here and count over three blocks. One, two, three. Take out some acacia wood stairs and place one upside down. Place another one upside down facing towards it. Next up, we're gonna take out some weighted pressure plates, heavy. They should be iron and place the two pressure plates like that. Take out your item frames and place item frames around those pressure plates like this. And that's going to be the baby's crib. Then over here, we're going to place down two chests. One, two. 
and then off of this one we're going to place in a sign and we're going to do the same thing we did down there and type in toys for the baby's toy chest boom there we go and then right next to our chest we're going to come up one block and break out these four and place in glass panes and that's going to be the one window inside of this build next up we're going to come out one block from this corner once again so one block and place another brick staircase right here and then place one facing this way place another one facing this way and yet again place another one facing this way take out black carpet and place black carpet along the tops of all of them and then we're going to take out some item frames and place item frames in front of every single one then off of this corner one right here we're going to place in an armor stand like this so go ahead and place an armor stand right there it should fall into place place a lamp above it come up two blocks it's just the same exact thing with every other one we did send power to it and then go ahead and take out a lever and flip the lever down now we're going to have to put a painting right here that's going to be a two by two painting so boom let's try to get ourselves a two by two painting right here boom there we go we got ourselves a two by two painting and then right here we're going to place more black carpet right along that area then right over here behind me we're going to come to this corner and count in one block break this block right here and place a piece of soul sand down Place a block on top of the soul sand. Really doesn't matter what block it is. Place a rail on top of it. Place a minecart on top of that. Break it. Then take out your nether brick stairs. Place another brick stair right here with a piston facing inwards towards it. Send power to the piston and that, and that will make our seat. And then we're going to come out two blocks from here. One, two. And place another brick slab right here. Next up, take out some string and place two string right here. One, two. And then place black carpet on top of the string and that will make a nice little shelf. Then come out two blocks from here. One, two. Delete these four blocks. Take out your birch planks once again and place two birch planks here. Two birch planks here and then come up three blocks one two three one two three and do that on the backhand side as well one two and three like that and then right up here we're going to place in two sea lanterns take out our dark oak doors again and place a dark oak door here a dark oak door there and that's going to be our closet now what we have left to do is the ceiling and the fan and we'll be completely done with this room all right guys so to get things finished off with this ceiling we're going to use the white stained clay and we're going to come right here and we're going to place white stained clay all the way around this entire border but you know what? we're actually going to put the fan in first i'm going to put the fan in first before i finish up this ceiling so come out here from the white stained clay and what we're going to do is find the middle block we're going to find the middle block of this room so we're going to come in three blocks one two three four sorry come in four blocks one two three four and we're just going to bring this going all the way down the center and do the same thing on this side one two three four whatever and then we're going to go ahead and come right here so right here's the middle this is where our fan's going to be going so what we're going to do is come down one block from this middle and place a stone slab upside down and go ahead and break all of these blocks right here Next up, we're going to come to the top area, place a block up here, and we're going to need some armor stands for this part. So take out your armor stands. I'm going to place an armor stand facing this way first. Boom. And then we're going to place another one facing in the opposite direction right here. Boom. And that's going to be our fan. Then we're going to come right above it, place a block right above our armor stand, come up two more blocks, place a piston facing downwards, and then send power to that piston like this. There we go. So there is the post for our fan. And then right here, I like to place a torch here as well. So it gives some light to inside the room. And then we're going to take out some iron trap doors and place iron trap doors along the tops of every single one of these. And that's going to be the fan for the middle of the room. Now we can go ahead and finish off the ceiling. And then you're done with the baby's room. So let's go ahead and finish this all off. Boom, boom. Finish this off right here. And we're going to go ahead and add some more blocks right here. And there's the baby's room completely done, guys. And if you want to, you can also, what I did was, I just placed some blocks around here just so it looks like he had little blocks to play on. So I placed like a red block here. I think I also placed like a slab over here or something. But you guys can go ahead and do whatever you want with room to add in toys. Well, now we're going to go ahead and work on the room next door to this one. All right, guys, for the second room, we're going to come over here and come in four blocks. One, two, three, four. Break these two right here. And then come inside the room. And then we're going to take out some purple stained clay. And then we're going to come out from here, nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to go in that way, seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and bring this up four blocks. Once you have that in the place, go ahead and take out some jungle planks. And we're going to bring our jungle planks and fill in this entire room's area with jungle planks. Next up, take out your light blue stained clay and bring your light blue stained clay out to here just to finish off this room's wall. So now we can go ahead and start up on some of the props in this room. So what I want you to do first is take out your glass panes. I'm going to break out these four blocks right here. And we're going to fill in the, this entire area with glass panes to make our first window. Boom, boom, and boom, boom. And do the same thing on this side. Dig out these four blocks right here and place in four glass panes just like this. Then right here underneath this window, we're going to take out our nether brick stairs and place one upside down right here. And another one upside down right here and place in four black stained clay blocks and that's going to be our tv then over here we're going to come all the way down here place in two staircases here and then two off the side of them to make our couch inside this room so we can watch the tv 
Then right here, we're going to place string right above it. And then we're going to place some black carpet right above that for some shelving. And then right in the middle, we're going to need a painting. That's a two by two painting. So we're going to need a two by two painting right here off this back wall. If I can actually get one. There we go. So just get a two by two painting right here. And then over here in this corner, we're going to take out our nether brick stairs and place another one here. Oh, another one here upside down and then place a slab in the middle of both of them stick out your nether brick slabs and place one like that and that's pretty much all the props for this room there's really not much going on here there's actually going to be another painting right here though so i normally like to get that two by four painting right here it might take a little while to get it so i might skip through the video until i get the painting oh i just got it and i broke it <laughs> so right off the third block just keep placing paintings in until you get that uh one that i just broke i wish i didn't do that so i'm just gonna skip through the video until i get it you know what? It was taking too long to get, so I'm just going to settle on this little uh, painting collage that I made. And then I also almost forgot inside the baby's room. You're also going to need a 2x2 two two painting right here above his crib. So you're going to have to keep placing paintings in until you get a 2x2 two two one. Or you can go ahead and do one like that if you really want to. But I like normally going with the 2x2 two two one right above his crib, which hopefully I can get a good one. If I get the creeper, though, there. That's what I meant by 2x2 two two point. Or you could go ahead and do the creeper one. I think the creeper one actually might look a little better. Or you know what? That Enderman would have looked good too. You know, let me try to get that Creeper one though. I thought that Creeper one looked really good there. So there we go. Yeah, I almost forgot about that painting as well. So now let's go ahead and work our way back into this room. And we're going to go ahead and cap this off with white stained clay as well. So go ahead and take out your white stained clay. And then we're also going to need sea lanterns as well. I don't know why I deleted my white stained clay, but we're going to take out white stained clay. And we're going to cap it off like we did the baby's room over there. Like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put sea lanterns on the roof to give this room some lighting. So let's go ahead and cap off this entire roof with our white stained clay like this. And then in here, we're going to come in one block and place sea lantern. So come in one block, place a sea lantern, come in one block, place a sea lantern right here as well. I don't know why I did that. And one in right here and place in a sea lantern. And that's going to be pretty much this entire room. We just need to finish off the closet as well. So we're going to need to take out some dark oak wood doors place a dark oak wood door right here and then we're gonna have to put in our closet right here so we're gonna come in three blocks from here one two three break out these two blocks well four blocks and then place our jungle planks right here and come out two more next up we're going to take out our purple stained clay and we're gonna come up three blocks and we're gonna do the same thing like we did with the other closet just come up three blocks around the entire closet like this and then we're going to go ahead and right above it we're going to take out our sea lanterns just to give it light on the inside boom boom then come over here and take out our dark oak wood doors once again and place a dark oak wood door here and here and that's going to be the closet for this room and that's this room completely done guys so let's go ahead and leave it and now it's time to work on the parents bedroom and once we're done with the parents bedroom we could cap off this entire area add in all the paintings around this entire room the uh ceiling fans and we will be completely done all right guys so last but not least it's finally time to get started on the parents bedroom so i'm going to come right over here and dig out the two middle blocks and then we're going to come right here to the inside. And we're just going to come over one block. As you can see, it's already there. I'm just going to count over four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to come out four blocks from here. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to come out going that way, eight blocks. So starting from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there should be four blocks here. One, two, three, four. And then eight blocks that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you count the corner block, then it's nine. Now, all we have to do is just hook up this corner to this corner right over here. So we're just going to bring this all the way down this way. And then we're going to take that corner from over here and bring this all the way down to over here like that. There we go. Now we're going to take out some white wool and we're going to place white wool along the entire flooring for this entire room. So just put the entire flooring in as white wool. And then next up, we're also going to fill in this area completely three high more. All right, guys, so now it's time to get started up on the props in the parents' bedroom. So we're going to come right over here. I'm going to count over one block and place an acacia staircase upside down. And then we're going to place another acacia staircase right here upside down as well. And then we're going to take out our iron pressure plates and place two in right here. Take out some item frames, and we're going to place item frames right along all of these. To make our baby's carriage, we're going to go ahead and just put item frames around the entire thing. Then we're going to skip a block, and we're going to put another acacia slab here upside down. So take out acacia slabs and place one right here upside down. Place an armor stand right on top of it, and we're, you know where we're going with this. We're going to place in a lamp, come up two blocks, break it, place the piston facing downwards, send power to that piston, and then off the side of it, we're going to place in a lever and send power to that lamp. So let me go ahead and take out a lever, and we're going to send power to the lamp on, let's go this side, boom, and place it down like that. 
Next up, we're going to go ahead and place in our bed. So skip over one block from here and place in four black stained clay blocks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Just like that. And that's going to be our bed. Then we're going to go over here. And this is going to be the backboard. So break out all these blocks and place in more black stained clay blocks for our backboard. Take out some quartz slabs and place four quartz slabs like that for our pillows. Take out some red carpet. And this is going to be the cover for our bed like that. There we go. And that's going to be the parent's bed. And then over here in this corner, we're going to place in yet again another lamp. So take out all your objects that you need to make your lamp. And we're going to place in an acacia, slip, an acacia block here, actually. Then we're going to place an armor stand right here. A redstone lamp above it. Two blocks up. Then we're going to go ahead and break the middle block. Place a piston facing downwards. Send power to that piston. And then, of course, let's go. Actually, so now it's not going to be even. I'm going to come over here and switch this. It looks weird when it's like that. I'm going to go ahead and put the lever on this side. And there is our two lamps. And then off of this lamp, we're going to need an item frame. And we're also going to need our black carpet. So take an item frame and black carpet. Place your item frame here. And then place your black carpet upside down. Because that's actually going to have a draw on it. Next up, we're going to place some paintings above their bed. So what I like to do is I like to change these blocks out to sea lanterns or glowstone doesn't really matter and then we're going to place some paintings right here and they have to be at least two high or one so at least two long or one so boom and you know what? that's going to look weird let me try to get two two long ones so you don't look like this there we go so now no stop come on give me at least a two one there we go so there is some paintings above the bed you don't have to put the sea lanterns behind there but that will definitely give some lighting to the room then we're going to skip over two blocks one two dig out these four and place in four more sea lanterns and then skip one and place in four more sea lanterns again and we're going to get two high paintings for right here so place a block so place a painting right here just so we can uh, cut it off so we can only get two eye paintings. There we go. And we're going to do that one more time right here. Get a two eye painting. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and put a cauldron right here for the waste basket or I should say the laundry basket. Then over here we're going to dig out four blocks of the white wool. So one, two, three, four like that from the bed. And we're going to take out our nether bricks and place nether bricks here. Then take out your nether brick stairs. Place another brick stair here upside down. Upside down. And then we're also going to need another brick slab here for as well. So take out your nether brick slabs and place two nether brick slabs like that. Then we're going to take out our item frames and place two item frames in the middle. Take out your black stained carpet and make, I mean, black carpet. Why do I always say black stained carpet? Black carpet and place it like that and do the same thing on this side. Next up, we are going to take out our black stained clay now and place black stained clay above all of these blocks. And that's going to be the TV for the bedroom. And that's the entire bedroom done. And now all we have to do is just cap it off with quartz blocks. So go ahead and take out some quartz blocks. So now all we have to do is cap off the bedroom with quartz blocks. You can use whatever you really want to. It doesn't really matter. But I think quartz blocks looks the best. Or you can use white stained clay. That would also look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and just speed up the video here so you don't have to see me put in this entire ceiling. So now that our ceiling is done, we can go ahead and change out some blocks in here with sea lanterns just to give some more light to the room. So I like to place a sea lantern here to give some light. And then I also like to place two sea lanterns at the front of the bed. So one, two, right at the front of the bed and place them in like that. And that will give some more light to this room. And there's the entire parent's room completely done. You can also add a few more toys around here. Or if you want to make the white wool look like it's sticking out a little bit more, you can add some carpet in like this and give it some depth. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And now we're going to go ahead and work on the bathroom. All right, guys, for this bathroom, you're going to need a four by five spacing. So just find the door for the bedroom. And I actually didn't put a door on the bedroom yet again. <laughs> so go ahead and take out a dark oak door and put it here. So there we go. And we're just going to follow right through the door into the bathroom right here. And we're just going to make a four by five spacing with polished diorites. So place one here. And we're going to make a four by five spacing. So one, two, three, four like that. And then come out five this way. So one two three four five and then just wrap it all the way back around to here like this next up we're going to take out our white stained clay and wrap that around the entire bathroom and bring that up four blocks like we've been doing this entire time so just wrap it all the way around until it is four blocks high and there we go very small room and then we're going to come over here and then on this side and then right here we're going to place in our toilet so place in a quartz stair upside down break this block place in a quartz block back here with an iron trap door that's going to be our toilet then right here we're going to place in a cauldron with water inside of it and then we're also going to need an item frame so place an item frame right back here and place in a glass pane and then right off the front of it we're going to place in another item frame and we're going to need i believe i used brown for this one i'm pretty sure i did and we're going to place a brown stained carpet a brown carpet stop saying stain a brown carpet like that and then we're also going to need a flower pot so take out a flower pot and place a flower pot right to the side of it 
Then over here, we're going to place in our shower stall. So we're going to break out these blocks right here. And we're going to place in some slabs upside down like this. And then what I like to do is come down an extra slab like that. And we're going to have to add in a little bit more white carpet. I mean, a white stained clay right here. So white stained clay, white stained clay, white stained clay. And then we're going to come over to this side. And we're going to come up with three glass panes right here. So go ahead and take out your glass panes and come up three. So one, two, and three. Do the same thing on this side. One, two, and three like that. Then we're going to take out our slabs once again and place three slabs like this. And then a water bucket right here. And that's going to be our shower stall. And that should be the entire bathroom done. So now all we have to do is just cap off the bathroom with quartz and then add in some sea lanterns. And that will give it some light. And then we can go ahead and work on the rest of the living room. And then we'll be completely done. So there we You know, let me go ahead and break my way in here. So there is our bathroom done. Then we're going to take out some sea lanterns and place two right here like this. And then we're going to break out these two over here and place two sea lanterns in like that as well. Then we're going to come right outside here and place in our dark oak wood door. And that's going to be the parent bedroom, uh, the parents bathroom done. And then this is over here is going to be the parents bedroom done. You know what? Actually, I didn't do this with both of my toilets, which I should have did. Go ahead and take out, uh, we're going to take out an item frame. We're going to take out a quartz block. And we're going to take out a wooden button. And we're going to make ourselves some toilet paper rolls. So where's my wooden buttons? There they are. So we're going to place an item frame, place a quartz block inside of it, and then off the block, place a wooden button and there we go there's a toilet paper roll i'm gonna go ahead and do that with the bottom bathroom as well i completely forgot about that i should have put that in the first one as well so we're gonna come over here come in here and let's do it off um uh, let's just do it on this side why not so of course block and one button and then there we go there's our toilet paper roll for right there as well now what we're gonna do is cap off our entire ceiling in our living room following the quartz block pattern with the parents room so literally just take out your quartz blocks and we're gonna cap this entire thing off add in a few lights add in a few fans and we'll be completely done guys so i'm gonna speed up the video here All right, guys, so it's pretty dark in here. So let's first start off with the easy lighting, and that's going to be right here. So right off this banister, we're going to count over two blocks from here. So, well, three. One, two, three. Break this block, place a sea lantern. So the first one should be right above this one, and then we're going to count over three again. One, two. Actually, we're going to count over three from here. So one, two, three. Break it, place a sea lantern. So there should be two in between each one. So skip two, place another one. Skip two, place another one. And that's going to be the easiest lighting for this room now what we're gonna do is a gigantic painting right above this TV so what I want you to do is count up three from the TV one two three and then over one and then we're gonna keep putting paintings in until we get a nice gigantic painting right above the TV so keep putting them in until you get a really really big painting really big painting so come on let's get a nice big painting up in here there we go that's the ugliest one I got it on the other one too uh, but we're gonna work with that one next up what I want you to do is actually come to the outside so we're gonna skip right out here and what I like to do is I like to put lighting behind the painting so what we're going to do is just break a block and place it in. Do it very quickly or else the painting will break. So make sure you do it fast enough. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And the reason why I do this is because it lights up this big room a lot more. If you did not know, you could put light right through a painting. So now we're going to take out our light blue stained clay and place it back here. And as you can see, it just adds so much more light up here. So it doesn't really look dark and, you know, just dismal and disgusting. And now we're going to add a few more paintings on this wall, a few more paintings on that wall. And we're going to clean up this area a little bit more. And then we're going to add in the fans up here. And we'll be completely done guys so now what we're going to do is add our side paintings here and we're going to use our light source to make this room really pick up with light we don't want it to look really dark and disgusting like this so right here we're going to dig out these four blocks and place in four sea lanterns and then we're going to count over four blocks from here so one two three four and then we're going to dig out these four blocks as well and place in four more sea lanterns so it should be four from here one two three four and then from here we're going to count up one one and then count over three one two three and place in four right here as well so i'll do it one more time so we have four right next to this lamp and then count over four one two three four and then from this corner we're going to count up one and then over three one two three and now we're going to do is put two high paintings on every single one of these well two by two paintings so just keep placing them in until you get a nice two two by two painting that you like you don't i'm just going to use any single one just so the video goes a lot faster but wow that was oh actually lot, this is my favorite one that's my absolute favorite one what the wow Wow, whoa, I got lucky there. Look at all those two high paintings. <laughs> Amazing. So now what we're going to do is add a few more two high, two by two paintings here. So we're going to count over one block from this door and get a two, wow, a two by two. Oh, man, I'm doing good with this. And then we're going to count over two blocks from here and place in another one right here. Whoa, okay, that, this is, this is insane. 
That is lucky right there. <laughs> and now what I want you to do is we're going to take out some oak stairs. So we're going to take out some oak stairs. Where are they? I keep going past them. I keep seeing them. There they are. Oak wood stairs. And then right here, we're going to place in two oak wood stairs. So one, two. That's going to be some shelving right there. And we got our paintings in over there. And now what we're going to do is take out our quartz blocks. And then right from here, we're going to come in one and place a row of quartz blocks here. And then we're going to come down one and place another row of quartz blocks here another row like this coming downwards and last but not least down right here as well and that's going to be the little dip for the roof right there and i'm pretty sure i didn't miss any paint things i might have to go look back at the house just to make sure okay so i didn't miss a painting but i actually did mess up here i i did mess up here i had to count over five blocks from here i'm sorry so one two three four and then five and then there were supposed to be four here not four like that so we're gonna have to change this out real quick guys i'm sorry about that but i want to make sure everything looks perfect and then of course we're gonna have to skip over one more right here for this painting as well like that i just want everything to look as perfect as i did it before and then i'm gonna have to get my two eye paintings maybe i'll get lucky oh wow oh please please oh man i thought i was gonna get super luck right there <laughs> then right in between these two that's why i knew i messed up right in between these two in the middle we're gonna have to place in an item frame with a clock off of it and that's what i was missing that clock then over here we're gonna have to dig out this one and place in another sea lantern right here and now what we're gonna do is place in those ceiling fans the ceiling fans are gonna be annoying you know what actually i'm gonna have to go back over to my build again and i'm gonna have to destroy some of my armor stands because i probably don't have enough room for all these armor stands and yep i was absolutely right i did not have enough armor stands so to put in our ceiling fans we're gonna start off right here at the corner of this painting right here at the corner of this painting we're gonna come up here i'm gonna count over four blocks from here so one two three four and then right here is going to be our first ceiling fan and then we're going to count over six blocks starting from this one one two three four five six or if you want to try to keep it even with this as well i really didn't keep it even but you know you know what let's make it even i want to make it even this time around so we're just going to come right over here right down from that line see where this line started with this fan i'm just going to come right over to here and we're going to count over four blocks one two three four and just place another one there i'm gonna try to keep them nice and even this time but i was just trying to go with the house and the house doesn't really look too even with the fans so now from these blocks uh we're actually gonna have to place another block right back here and then place a slab upside down like that and do the same thing on this side just come down a well two blocks i guess one two and then place a slab upside down like that and now we're gonna come up to the roof right here and we're gonna place in our armor stands so place a block up here and place an armor stand facing this way first and then place another armor stand facing this way like that and we're gonna do the same thing on this side as well so armor stand facing armor stand facing this way armor stand facing this way and now we're gonna have to put blocks right above it so we can no longer see outside so put a block oh i actually put that armor stand in wrong i put that on see <laughs> you have to make sure you put the armor stands in right so i'm gonna go ahead and take out my armor stands once again and place one like this and another one right here like this you don't want it to be too sideways there we go perfect that time is good now we're gonna go ahead and place our block right above it then we're gonna come up three blocks one two three break this one place a piston facing downwards right here here send power to the piston and now we can go ahead and break all of this right here and do the same thing on this side as well so place up a block right above it and then come up three more blocks one two and three break this block face a piston downwards send power to it break all of this right here and now we can come back inside like that and place our blocks right here and our block right there and then to send more light here i like to place in a torch off the slab just to give off some more light take out your iron trap doors place your iron trap doors around your slab one here one here and one here and we're going to place one here, one here, one here, and one here. And that's it, guys. You are completely done. You have built the entire Who's Your Daddy map. So let me go ahead and just go through this really quickly to make sure I didn't miss anything. And, you know, actually, I feel like something's empty right now. Let me, let me go check over here. I had to keep breaking stuff in my older build. <laughs> As you can see, all the holes in the wall when I was doing this. No, there's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing. Okay, okay. Let me let me just go through the entire house to make sure I didn't miss anything because I want to make sure everything is perfect for you guys. So we're gonna go through this real quickly so everything looks nice, everything looks good, everything is done in here. Boom. There's our first closet done. Over here we have our other closet that leads to the garage. Everything looks perfect in there. Let's go ahead and move out to the kitchen. Make sure everything in the kitchen's right. Everything looks good inside of our kitchen. Everything looks good inside our bathroom. We click this button. Our bathtub works. Click the button again. Our bathtub goes away. Let's go ahead and work our way over to the laundry room. Here is the laundry room. Everything looks fancy and good. Here is the garage with the very, very ugly car, but everything looks perfect. Now let's go ahead and make our way to the top part just to make sure everything is right up there as well. So we're going to come up here and nope. 
look what I forgot. I forgot this door right here. <laughs> so we're going to break this out real quick. And we're going to need some acacia planks and a dark oak wood door. So I'm going to take a dark oak wood door out. And we're also going to need some acacia planks. Where are they? There they are. Boom. And we're going to place an acacia plank right here with a dark oak wood door. And it leads into nothing. You can put whatever you want here. I don't know if there's anything there. But here is the baby's room. Completely done. Everything looks good. And here is the closet. And now we can go work our way over to the second room over here. The, here is the second room. Here's the TV, the closet, the picture frame, which I would have rather had the other picture, but I was too lazy. <laughs> and then onwards to the parents' bedroom. The parents' bedroom looks perfect. Everything looks good. There's the baby's crib. Everything is fine. And then in here is the second bathroom and that's it guys everything is complete so there you guys have it. that's how you build the who's your daddy map inside of minecraft if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned to my newest videos all right guys peace